maybe this is opportunity for first time ever pokey handling. Hmm? Do you want to see two pokies? Yeah, I bet you do. And yes, I'm aware that I said in last video that this video will be a Reddit feeding time video, but I realized that that video came out, I mean, it was published on Friday, and then I need to give you guys a few days to write your suggestions. So that means that there is technically not enough time for me to record and edit that feeding video. Uh, and therefore we need to have a filler video in between those two videos. And that's why we are going to rehouse two pokies. I know that I said that I will do this rehouse off camera, but then I spot a lot of comments saying, no, 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 we want to see Pezzoteria Miranda. And in the meantime, she also molted. So she is now looking proper and I really want to show you. So you can see her awesome look. And the other pokey that we are going to rehouse is going to be a Pezzoteria Rufilata. And she also molted since the last time you've seen her. So she is worthy of appearing, right? Right. Okay, the main reason why we are rehousing Pezzoteria Miranda out of this enclosure that is more than big enough for her and we will be actually rehousing her into a small enclosure. Main reason is mold, mold. And also here inside you see, let me just open it. Over there in her hide you also see mold, mold, mold. So therefore I definitely need to rehouse her. And I noticed that she is really not that active and she's not using this huge enclosure. So therefore she will be more than fine in this smaller but still big enough for her enclosure. That is it and also Pezzoteria Rufilata. I have her in this enclosure and it is really not practical so I want to rehouse her in one of my enclosure. I mean in the enclosure of my design and that is exactly what this enclosure is. So therefore let's set up the enclosure for Pezzoteria Miranda and that is going to be a quick operation. Let's start with stuff that we, oops, <laughs> that we all enjoy and those are the clay balls. Yeah, who doesn't enjoy balls, right? Now, to separate them from the substrate, we have mesh that just simply goes on top. And now, the substrate. Very nice stuff. And you want to have plenty of it. Generally, the more, the better. Compress it all nicely. Then, we add a cork bark hide. So, Tarantula will naturally have a nice place to hide, of course. And now, a simple thing that will increase your points if I'm reviewing your enclosure. And those are live plants something like this beauty yeah that brings you extra points but you need to admit that every enclosure with a live plant just looks a little bit better right yeah now springtails because we will have a bit higher humidity in the enclosure so therefore having springtails is always a nice idea I heard someone on skateboard outside. Hmm, who could that be? But now the enclosure is ready for a tarantula and I would rate it a solid seven and a half, maybe eight if the cornwork was a bit more interesting and the background wasn't so plain and simple. Yeah, now it is time for the fun part, to check out the tarantula and Pezzoteria Miranda, we don't really often see her in the videos, we basically never had her in feeding videos because she is not that active, she's always inside of the cork bark, rarely eats and all that stuff, so that's why I don't feature her, but now she will have no choice, she will need to exit her enclosure and show how beautiful she is. The only question is how hard will that be? She is all the way down behind that web, so we are going to need to tear that out but after that there shouldn't be a lot of problems i think i'm just gonna be really careful I'm gonna bring some light so you can see here you see there she is down there hmm I'm gonna need to poke her now there's also a hole on this side so maybe i can get her to go there or not she actually turned she's turning every time Come out, we need you. Oh, yes. There we go. Come on the open, please. Mm, there, you see? Now, this is a pretty tarantula, all right? And oh, she doesn't appreciate light. Yeah, she was like that as a sling and she is like that now. Need to get her completely out. Okay, getting there. Maybe go in the cup, please. No, oh, come on. Yes, flawless. Now I can remove this from the table and we can now focus on to her. Mm. 
Yes. Now we can have a really nice overview of the tarantula and nice close-up shots. Look at her. She definitely, even though she looks like typical Pokey, like Petzoteria regalis, I would say, but if you are familiar with Pokies just a little bit, you can immediately tell that this is Petzoteria Miranda. Oh, and she is changing her stance. <laughs> I think that her appearance is different because of the white and black stripes on the legs. I'm not really 100% sure, but I don't think that other Pokies have something like that, at least not in this way. For some reason this is different and you know what? She is really, really chill and I think that maybe, maybe this is opportunity for first time ever Pokey handling. Hmm? I will get her in the cup once again and then I will see how she will move and see if that will be possible. But we want to be really, really careful with this. Pokies, they don't really bite. But if they bite, ooh, then that it is a huge problem because they are old world. They are fast. They can jump. They can bolt. And their venom is also significantly, significantly stronger than new world tarantulas that I'm usually handling during the rehouses. So doing this is potentially dangerous. I'm going to try out anyway because I also like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't go now. Go in the car. Okay, she entered the cup and now I will let her go outside. But I'm slowly starting to sweat just thinking about handling it. I'm not really sure if I... Am I getting cold feet? My heart is pounding, what the hell. I didn't thought that it will be, just thinking about doing it, that it will be this nerve-wracking. But in theory it should be like handling any other tarantula when it is in a good mood, when it is in okay mood. You know what, I think I changed my mind. Maybe in some other video, let's, let's get her in the enclosure. I'm gonna do this nice and safe. Nice and safe. You go in your new enclosure, right? Yeah, there. <laughs> I cannot believe that I chickened out. Let's just enjoy her for a little bit from the distance. And yeah, <laughs> so underwhelming, I cannot believe. Next time, guys, next time. Now, I have one package that I want to open between these two rehouses. It came from US and it is really banged up, you see. <laughs> I hope that there are no fragile things inside. I really hope that. <laughs> oh. This was fragile. <laughs> Mind you, too bad that they are not full, but since this came from US, I think that you are not allowed to ship full cans from the US. Yeah, I think that that's the law or something. All right, and also a lot of candy. And is this Mandu t-shirt? Sure it is. Check it out. It is a green cat. What the hell? I love it. I love it already. <laughs> Let's check out other stuff. Um, green bottle, blue patch. Look inside. Okay. You wanna look? Ah, patch. I was thinking like, what the hell is patch? Look at this. I think that you can get it out and put it on your pants or on, or on your bag, right? Oh, never mind. It is like a card, but okay. Regardless, it is a cool looking sweet. Uh, some candy. Candy, candy, candy. Oh, another t-shirt. What is this? Oh, tarantulas of the world. Sweet, man. But honestly, even though these are tarantulas, I like the green kitty slashing things with its green claws a, a bit better. Who sent me this? Let me check. Raymond, thank you a lot for all the stuff and hopefully I will be able to uh, bend these cans correctly so that they don't look like this. And also I have one, another letter. Oh, stickers, stickers, stickers. And a cappuccino fan art. Mm. Amy, thanks for the stickers. She got the YouTube channel Pet Rock and Roll, you know. And she also maintains the Balfouri Communal Club. And she's also my Patreon, just like Raymond that sent previous uh, package. So double thank you to you guys. Now back to the rehouses. First one time jump because I had to take the enclosure home in order to thoroughly clean it. And as you see, I had to destroy a part of the background because there was actually mold in between glass and the background. And the only way to remove it and clean it was to peel off this this bottom part of it. And now I will need to add a lot of substrate in order to cover it up. That's right, but we also need clay balls, as always. 
and now when I'm thinking I should first take the, the tarantula outside of her enclosure because I want to reuse her cork bark, her current cork bark and also I want to reuse a live plant that she got in that enclosure so yeah a little bit more but I will also add substrate before, before doing that This is enough for starters, but now I realize that I didn't put the mats underneath. That is a new thing that I got. Let me just show you. You know, this table surface is highly reflective, so in order to mm, avoid that reflection, I got myself a big ass mouse pad, you see? Because that surface doesn't reflect light, unlike, you see, the table. Yeah, this is much better. I'm gonna take the enclosure and I actually hope that this cork bark will actually fit in that enclosure. Now this Pezzoteria rufilata, she's kind of bigger than Miranda, so yeah, I'm looking forward to get her outside and see her fully stretched. Now to see how she reacts to pokes. Okay, ignore, ignoring them for now. Oh, let go my straw. Look at those fangs, you see, even when touching her fangs, she still doesn't bite. Yeah, another proof that Pokis doesn't really bite, but still, I am too much of a wimp to handle them. Any different approach? Because she is mad, you see? Come, big girl, I need you out. But isn't she pretty with that mask, a bandit mask on her carapace? How can I get her out more easily? Oh, but now maybe we can take a measurement of her because she's now partially stretched. But I'm pretty sure that she is smaller than Ornata. <sighs> Hard to get it. I need to get her out. Come on, girl, stop playing with me and go on the side of the ankle. No, 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 no. Don't be mad. I know that this is inconvenience for you, but. Oh, 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 oh. Now those were bites or bite attempts. I'm not sure. Hey, with this. I need your cooperation, please, girl. She's constantly turning on the wrong side. So hard to convince her. So where will you go now? You can't go anywhere. Maybe I can cup her like this. But her leg span is too big. Okay, somehow I managed to do this. <laughs> Now we can get a proper measurement of hers. Okay, let it go. Now stay. Ooh, she is huge and really, really gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. Let me try to spread her properly. She's doing it on her own. No, 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 stop. Stop, stop. I need you to just stop and spread around. I'll put this leg down. Getting there. She's around 18 centimeters, probably more if she spreads completely. But I guess there is no way of getting that from her. But so cool that she is now being so chilled and not running around, you see. The only one more thing that I would like her to do is to turn my way so I can get a proper frontal shot. Yes, yes, just a little bit more. Oh, she really wants to go in that direction. This is wrong direction. Listen to me. Okay, and yeah, now there we are. Can you do a red posture now, please? Okay, stand like that. But she is really being gentle now. This is crazy. Oh! <laughs> I touched her booty. <laughs> okay, let's set up her enclosure and get her in. I think that this was enough stress for her. I'm just gonna quickly take this out from her old enclosure. Now we no longer need this. Get her new enclosure and stick that plant right in although it is a bit too tall for this enclosure you see really curious about the cork bark will that thing fit no it definitely won't i will need to break a piece of it but thankfully cork bark breaks easily let me put that here add more oh i almost took this plastic that is covering her because i thought that that is this i'm using for taking the substrate <laughs> that would be an uncomfortable mistake Okay, I think I got it. Few uh, leaf litter and then some uh, springtails and we are done. Okay, that's it. Now the only thing, whoa, only thing left is to safely move the tarantula in the new enclosure. Oh, and she actually, she's now in a pokey stance. So maybe, no, she's still not stretched, you see. Uh, can get the right measurements. But girl, you can now go if you like. I will lead you away. There, there, there. Now climb that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You need to go up, 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 up. Yes. 
there we are this is your new spot everything is familiar because you have the same cork bark and same plant but the enclosure is a little bit smaller although more than big enough for you excellent to close it off with the top lid and that's it the rehouses are done pokies are safely rehoused we no longer have issue in any of the enclosures everything is clean and time to end this video and of course next video will be a reddit feeding time video although at the time of recording this video friday's video still didn't get published the video where i reviewed your enclosure so i have no idea how well you received that video hopefully it went good but yeah okay <laughs> thumbs up comment something if you want to support this channel more there's a patreon page if you use this channel make sure to subscribe upload every monday and friday so see you again soon bye, -bye.